Hi everyone, this is Cassandra, Soldier for Christ Rose. How is everyone doing today? Happy, happy Tuesday. This is a day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. How is everyone? Is everyone still being encouraged? You got to be encouraged. You got to be encouraged. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, God's people. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. You got to speak life into your situation. Even if you don't see it, you have to speak life. Today, I want to talk about something that somebody had put on my IMO. And they were saying something about treating a man like a king and... He has to do kingly things in order for you to treat a man like a king. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I don't think we're getting it. I don't think we're getting it. For number one, we are in the flesh. For number one. And the Bible says that if we live by our flesh, we die. So this is not a fleshly walk. This is a spiritual walk. It's, it's, it's got to be a spiritual walk because if we're in the flesh, we're just in the flesh. But that does not mean that we should live our lives by our flesh. This is spiritual. So, to comment on the person that put that on my ammo, for number one, you know, we as women, we don't know what we are worth for number one because if we if we knew what we were worth we wouldn't continue to allow the things that we allow the man to do to us if we know that we are a queen and god made us that way we wouldn't allow what we allow it's one thing that i know that if you know a man is disrespecting you and you know he messing around on you and you know this for a fact and you still stay, that's on you. You don't know what you're worth. Dishonor and disrespect is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. To me, I don't know about anybody else, but disrespect and dishonor are unacceptable acceptable a man is not going to all of a sudden change no indeed no indeed see something has to take place like Paul see God had to show himself to Paul because before that he said Jesus is dead but God had to show himself he had to make himself known and guess what that's what God does with us. Before then, we think we're right. And we're not right. We're totally wrong. God had to show us that we are wrong. And it's just like a man. Before going into it, he think he's right. And with the women too, we think we are right. But we are totally wrong. And God has to show that man that he is wrong. And God had to show that woman that they are totally wrong. Ladies, a man is not going to change all of a sudden. God is the only one that can change a man. He's the only one that can change a man. So if you're sitting and watching, looking at your watch and your clock, and you're asking yourself, when is this man going to change? No, he's never going to change. Until God changes the man. I keep telling you ladies. Whatever you allow. It will continue. It's not going to all of a sudden stop. It doesn't work that way. In order for a man to tell you that he's wrong. And he's done wrong. God is the only one that can make a man say. That he's wrong. 
I don't care what you do, what you say, what time you do it in, or where you go. A man is a man. He's in the flesh. He's not going to change until God changes him. And that's where we mess up. That's where we mess up. We think that we can change a man. And I keep telling the ladies, it's impossible. It's impossible. God, he is the ultimate teacher. They, there are lessons to be learned. And God is the ultimate teacher. To teach them to our men. God does that. Our job is to pray. Our job is to seek God's face. Our job is to let it go and let God do his work. That's what our job is. So ladies, whatever you allow, it will continue. It's not going to change. You have to let God do his work. And when God does his work is done no one can change it no one can undo it what god put together is put together and god does just what he says he's going to do god don't make prom- he don't break promises he don't lie he's not unfaithful god is always faithful even if we're not faithful So ladies, buck up and start reading your word. You got to read your word to know what you are worth, what God has called you to be. You have to be in your word and the truth is the truth. You got to be in your word. You're not going to be able to get through this if you're not in your Bible. Not on Facebook. You got to be in your Bible and that's the truth of the matter. So with that being said, you all have a good day in Jesus' name. Stay encouraged. Be encouraged. Give everything to God. Pray. Watch. Pray and watch. Pray and watch. You all have a good day in Jesus' name. And always, 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 always keep God first. You gotta keep him first, y'all.